Hello. Tonight, I would like to tell you a little bit about a historical person who inspires me. First thing I do in the morning is I get up and I wash my face. And I use this. And then I use a little bit of this. <coughs> some of this. This. And a few other things. And all of these items have meaning to me because they're Mary Kay Cosmetics. Mary Kay Ash is the founder of Mary Kay Cosmetics. She was born May 12th of 1918 and she passed away November 22nd of 2001. She was an American businesswoman who set out to inspire others by, in, by founding, being the founder of Mary Kay Cosmetics. After being passed up for a promotion to a man that she had trained, she decided she was going to take matters into her own hand and write a book for women on how to better themselves in the business world. Little did she know that book turned into more. In the summer of 1963, her and her husband, George Hellenbeck, started the company, Mary Kay Cosmetics. One month before opening for business, her husband had passed away. A month after he passed away, she was 45 years old. She had $5,000 invested into a company that she started with her sons. The, store, for the first original storefront was in Dallas, Texas. Mary Kay has several honors, including... Um, the Hortus Alger Award. She was inducted into the Junior Achievement for U.S. Business Hall of Fame in 1996. She founded, she's the founder of Mary Kay Ash Charitable Foundation. This foundation is important to me because they raise money for domestic violence victims. She had a passion to help women, and she knew that domestic violence was something that women needed help with. She also used the foundation to raise money for cancers affecting women, not just breast cancer, but all cancers. Any cancer that affected a woman, she raised money to. She also was an author. She wrote several books. Um, one was, of course, her autobiography of called Mary Kay. She wrote two books one in one year, Miracles Happen, and You Can Have It All. Her first book, though, was Mary Kay on People Management. She was a businesswoman. She thought it was important, and she let everybody know. She set out to inspire women all over the world, which is why she started her company for women, so that us women could go out and work from home if we wanted to, have our own business, selling products we love. So that was her way of inspiring women to be better. And even though she's been gone for since 2001, She's still inspiring women every day. I have several friends who are consultants, as myself, who is not really active, but still something that I am very passionate about. Um, she, she has started this company so just for women like us to be able to have that opportunity to sell amazing products that make us feel good, that make us pretty, so, she also had a few quotes that I would like to share with you tonight. A company is only as good as the people it keeps. That hits home for me because it's so true. I mean, to have a good company, you have to keep good people. And last but not least, my favorite quote of all, and something that I try to remind myself of, whenever I need it. For every failure, there is an alternate course of action. You just have to find it. When you come to a roadblock, take a detour.
So if you need to take a de if you come to a roadblock and need to take a detour, do it and take care of yourself in the process. Thank you.